Hello, welcome to this new tutorial. Today I want to show you how you use the control net technique to create images with stable cascade in ConfiUI. Uh, it seems like stable cascade and ConfiUI are really in, in, in heavy development at the, at the moment. So that this setup can change quite rapidly in future versions of ConfUI and Stable Cascade. But for now, everything should be fine. The good thing is everything is now integrated into ConfUI. No need for custom nodes. This is really awesome. I created a scene for a base station. I have a source space station, which I take as a base for the creation of the Kenny control net, which then is used as a base for the C, B and A steps of the stable cascade workflow. And in the end, we will have our new space station, which is based on the control net. Let's start from scratch. Let's start by loading an image. which we then will transform into a Kenny control net. There is no need for special um, custom nodes. This Kenny node seems to be integrated into ConfUI now. You can use it without any custom nodes. We need to fill this into our apply control net advanced node. And we need the control net itself. I use a simple Kenny save tensors, which will be linked in the description below, as always. This is optimized for stable cascade. So now, and let's have a look. how our control net will look like. Let's create this control net. So this, we have a line art style control net here. As far as I know, I'm not really sure right now, but I think the Kenny control net can also be used for death maps. And we need to fill the control net into our sampler. We need to feed the apply control net node some prompts. Positive, negative. As a prompt, I choose this one futuristic sci fi space station, 8K hyper realistic photo cinematic, a negative prompt. Let's exclude only text and watermarks. So now we need a simple checkpoint loader and as a model we need our stage c stable cascade stage c what i realized here is there is a refreshed version of the stable cascade stage c model i tried this workflow with an older version i downloaded a few days ago and it didn't work so i downloaded this new stage c model and also the b model and now everything works quite nice so if you have an older version of the stage c model maybe you have to download the new version i will link it below in the description so let's connect everything clip clip and the model into our first case sampler. We need the stable cascade stage B conditioning. Fill in the positive prompt into there. And now we have to fill it into our stage B case sampler. To load the stage B model.
the same what I told you about the stage C model is right for the stage B model. If you get an error message for this model, please download the new version from the link I put into the description below. We need a latent image. I choose a stable cascade empty latent image. So it's especially um, created for stable cascade. The stage C has to go into the first case sampler and stage B into our second. We also have to connect the negative prompt to the second case sampler. So let's decode. our latent image into a pixel space. We use the VIE from our stage B model here. So this goes to save image node. And let me have a look if we have everything. So the image goes into the Kenny node. There the Kenny control net is generated. We then fill everything into the apply control net node, put it into our stage C sampler, create the conditioning for stage B, put everything in the second stage B K sampler, and then stage A is our BAE decode, which gets filled into the save image node afterwards. The stage B case sampler, let's change the CFG to 1.1. And the stage C sampler, the first one, let's change it to four. And let's reduce the steps. So the prompt is defined and let's try. So this error message is caused by a wrong connected prompt. We have to change this. So I connected the conditioning, stable cascade stage B conditioning with the positive prompt out of the apply control net uh, node. This is wrong. We need to connect the original prompt without running through the apply control net with the stable cascade stage B conditioning. And that should do the trick. There we go. We have our result without any error message from too much RAM used. Let's generate another one. Another one. Here you go. I hope I could help you with this control net workflow and I hope to see you soon. Bye bye.